Ooh, it's Saturday. It's 8.42 in the morning, and nobody's watching. But that's cool, man, because we're still going to do a show. Because I'm up, and I've already done a whole bunch for the day. I'm actually kind of accomplished. I feel like I did a whole bunch today. I renewed my lease for my apartment. I had some paperwork I had to fill out. Uh, so that's getting done. Uh, I finally remembered to do my taxes because uh, I knew we had the extension because of everything that's going on. And so I was just like, oh, good. I don't have to worry about that crap. <laughs> so I woke up today. I'm like, I just I really need to do that because if I keep putting it off, I'll forget. And then before you know it, the date comes along and, you know, weird things start happening at that point. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you don't want to be late on your taxes. So got those done. Uh, thankfully, I did not have to pay any additional tax this year. So that's good. Um, so I got that taken care of. And then we had website problems. Had to go fix the website. The themes were looking all funky and weird. And so I had to change the way they were, they were set up a bit. Got that working. Still waiting for the website that I, or the domain name, I should say that I purchased yesterday to go live for me so that I can start working on it. And I have another problem with freaking Google AdSense. Uh, I don't even know if I want to get into it, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> uh, they have this thing called custom channels, which if you sign up for it, um, it will automatically throw ads on some of your website pages. And, I, and it says, do you want to, and it's like, hey, we had this, this was something that I signed up for like a year ago. It was still kind of new. <clears throat> anyway, so I signed up for it because they're like, hey, try this, you know, maybe it will help your revenue. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? So I signed up for it. And at first, I didn't notice any difference. And then I noticed that at the very bottom of my web pages, they would put an ad. And usually that's not a bad thing because at least it's at the bottom. It's out of the way. You know, people don't. You know, as long as you don't constantly throw ads in people's faces, they're usually okay with an ad here and there. Uh, but the way they placed this ad was it was all the way at the bottom. And instead of it being like a banner, you know, like a long banner, it was a really tall vertical ad. And so it added just like all this additional length <laughs> to my website. And it's still there. You can actually go to slimword.com and look at it. It's still there. Uh, I can't get rid of the darn thing because um, <clears throat> I went back to AdSense. And if you've never messed with AdSense, um, pray that you don't have to. <laughs> uh, I I'm kidding. It's it's really not that bad. AdSense is actually not bad. But I have run into this problem because you're supposed to be able to just go be able to go in there and, you know, turn off these custom channel ads there's an option it says right here it says just deactivate and so i'm like oh, okay easy enough deactivate <laughs> the the script on google's page doesn't work and so even if you click deactivate or delete it will not do anything and so at this point right now uh there is no way to actually turn off a custom channel that is set up in Google AdSense on one of your websites. So that's annoying. Um, and yes, I Googled the hell out of solutions. <clears throat> and I, I went to, no joke, I went to like 15 different uh, topics that people have posted about the same thing, about we can't remove, you know, custom channels. And after a while, the guy who was trying to help everybody, he's like, yeah, it just, it doesn't work. <laughs> There's no way to take it off. And so we're like, <laughs> there's no way to remove these things. So if if you go and mess with Google AdSense and they ask you if you want to try custom channels, say no. Please say no. Unless you like having a funky, out of whack, long, you know, <laughs> tower ad at the bottom of your page that nobody sees anyway. <clears throat> Because it's true, nobody nobody sees it. Nobody sees that ad, <laughs> so it doesn't doesn't really matter. But let me flip on over here to uh, 
legacy of the duelist enough of my complaining i had i had so much freaking work i did this morning already i got up at like five on my own because it was storming really bad and i got a lot of stuff done that's why i'm kind of i feel a little accomplished in the last three three hours or so i got a whole bunch of stuff i needed to do done it's like a you know it's like a weight off your shoulders when you um when you have something that you know you need to do, like your taxes, and you just you just keep putting it off, and then finally you do it, you're like, why didn't I just do it, you know, weeks ago? <clears throat> but let's get rocking and rolling here. Let's uh, we're still trying to open up the last of the packs from um, from Brains because I need to open it up. I've been buying more of the. <clears throat> packs from uh what's her name alexis because she still has a couple of cards that i need from her uh she uh, has um uh, what is it uh fusion recycling plant yeah fusion recycling plant and so i have to slowly work my way through most of these before varus will open this freaking pack for me so that i can get it as, as it is right now i think i've only got three packs open so i've got a few more easy yeah Soul, as you can see, I haven't even opened any Soul Burner packs. Um, got what I needed from Blue Angel, and now I just need Varus, who, if I'm not mistaken, is the last one. Oh, man. We're just going to have to go and rock and roll, man. I'm using Amazons because that's the only deck I have enough cards to make right now. My Prank Kids deck is almost done, but again, we need to open up Varus so that we can get the last of the Prank Kids that we need. <clears throat> excuse me so once we open up Varus we're gonna go and hopefully get the last the last card I need from from that pack where it's the only card that I need from that pack is uh, Prank Kids Roxy's and I need three copies of it so yeah we're gonna have to really mess with that pack but let's do this stuff and in case you all were here I mean nobody's really here watching there's only like a couple of y'all right now so I'll wait later on to talk about the uh, the giveaway but we were we had a giveaway going well we've had i should say a giveaway going but i was using this new service that i found called social man and it looked okay it looked affordable and it came with like a 30 day you know you can you know try it for 30 days see if you like it <clears throat> and um i got messages over and over and over from people who were like yeah you know that that widget asks for a lot of information and I went and I looked at it and I'm like, can I change this? And I can't. I can't change the amount of information that it tries to get the user to do. And so I was like, I don't like that. So I canceled my subscription with them. And uh, went ahead and I moved the giveaway over to an old widget that I used uh, called Gleam. So the giveaway is back on Gleam. And I, I'm I'm not totally satisfied with Gleam either, which is why I tried this other widget. But it's it's the best I've got going for me right now. Because they don't have a monthly, they only have like the free version, or if you want to get <coughs> excuse me, the entry level version. Um, they only bill you yearly. So I'm like, I don't really want to dump $120 on something that I might use three times a year. Just, just don't want to do it. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what we got there. But at least the giveaway is there, and at least people can access it, and it's really easy to sign up. Uh, Gleam is pretty much all over the web. There's a good chance that you've already used it before. Send one dragon must from your deck to your graveyard. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, just in case you are here specifically for the giveaway, it's uh, actually listed down in the uh, description on YouTube. And I don't know if I... Did I put it on Twitch? I don't remember if I put it on Twitch, but here, I'll link it in the... Um, I'll link it in chat here real quick. I think I still have it saved here. Let me... Uh, there we go. Yeah, there's the website. That's my website, so it's safe. It's fine. But yeah, if you're here just for the giveaway and you want to check it out... Um, just click on that link or type it in however you want. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and you'll see the Gleam uh, entry app there. It's, a, it's basically a widget. And you've got all these different options on how to, how to get signed up. 
That's free. So, you know. Then after you sign up, come on back and talk to me. <laughs> uh, let's note that. Mm -hmm. Mm. He's trying to do all kinds of stuff now. Okay, let's... Please don't negate this. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to remove that sucker. Get him out of here. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll remove him too. Take some damage, but. Oh no! Oh god, that sucked. Okay, um. So apparently I can't target him with effects. I'm guessing this is probably one of the things. Uh, once per turn, you can select one thing from the Okay, no, that's not it. Unaffected by trap effects. That sucks. Okay, um. So we're gonna take 32. That sucks. <clears throat> Gotta find another way to get rid of that guy. Or hopefully get a queen so I can stall for a little bit. A princess. Ooh. Uh. The sucky thing is, is that if I put, I, I have to, almost have to put the princess out there. But if I do, he's just going to attack and that's, that's the end of it. Oh man, what can I search with princess though? Because at this point, unless I get rid of this then we're going to be in trouble. Hmm. Well, I don't have an option, so I'm going to have to bring her out. Let me see what I can search here. <clears throat> yes. Mm, we're going to say no to that. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he gets two attacks. So even if I put Tiger there, uh, it's it may not matter because um, I can bring the call and then I can onslaught the tiger out and then use Amazonas Village to get another one. But I I have to choose: do I want to get the call or I mean, Village is not going to work right now. Yeah, I mean the cat because even even if he attacks the cat, he gets a second attack. <clears throat> Uh, but it's not the same way with the queen. He doesn't have to attack the queen. So I can I can bring Queenie out, but it's not going to protect Princess. So I can try... Well, let me see. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Let's try this. We'll do this. And I'm going to have to bring the cat... Okay, so let's bring let's bring Queenie. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm doing, comrade. <clears throat> hmm. And then I can monster reborn my tiger. I know, dude, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to save the call. Here, I want to put him in defense because I can't take any more damage. <clears throat> save the call. And then we'll go to battle phase. I'll put her in defense. Doesn't matter because <laughs> he's still gonna have to go for the tiger anyway. <clears throat> hmm, let me think though. Can I do anything else to get rid of that? No, the only thing I can use to get rid of backfield is I've got MSTs, but I think I only have one. And Sage is not gonna help me right now because she'll take damage. So we're just putting gonna play some defense here.
And he's just really pumping that monster up. Get Synchro Summon. Oh, he's gonna Link Summon. <clears throat> Romulus. The name of a planet. Josh says that he really likes for hire. Good. Yeah, for hire is pretty fun, man. It takes a little getting used to, but it's it's a pretty fun deck. <laughs> We're just stalling now, man. Oh, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> that is so nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is going to this is going to be fun. <clears throat> I could also start doing XYZ and I could probably eat that monster, but let's just uh let's just annoy him <laughs> with uh with the Amazon. Yeah, it didn't matter if I activate that or not. Um, let's see. Could destroy this. What's this thing do? Do I want to get a tra spell trap card? Okay. Destroy that card first. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get rid of it. And we'll say no to that. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Now we've got uh, now we've got a little something going here. <laughs> now he's like, oh crap, <laughs> the swordswoman. <laughs> you know you need a swordswoman. I don't think he has anything else. He's filled up his backfield. I think he can dump some of his backfield cards, but I don't think it's gonna help. Heck, I, I mean, he might as well put that thing in defense. <clears throat> yeah, because if I get another... Oh, oh, it's a paladin. Okay. For a second, I thought it was going to be another... Um, another... Whatchamacallit? Uh, swordswoman. So, I think... I mean, we could just keep doing this. Uh, I mean, there's really no need to take any weird chances here. We'll just keep doing this. Yeah, he's going to... That, that's. I'm not going to mess with the face down. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> We're just going to leave that. <clears throat> but yeah, he had me on the ropes there for a minute, man. He's going to keep getting cards, but it doesn't matter. What you got? Javelin. Oh, oh, he, oh is he going to send it away? Oh, he's going to Link Summon. Okay. Going to bring the Romulus back again. <clears throat> he's going to end his turn again. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Oh, baby Tiger. I think I can win here. Yeah, I think I can win, because I can smash with this and that. Uh, let me see, that's 25? And then I can hit with that. Oh yeah, I think we've got it. Hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> the swordswoman. I guess that was good. We stalled with the tiger and the queen <clears throat> long enough <laughs> until we got the swordswoman. That's funny. Ducks, knight, and tribus. That's pretty. That's pretty funny. A new world coming. Who is this? Who is this girl? I don't know who that is. I guess we're gonna find out. 
Oh, maybe it's that uh, blue gal again. Oh, blue maiden. Oh, okay. Well, it is the blue gal. It's one of her alter egos, I think. But it's just this blue angel, blue gal, and blue maiden. She can't make up her mind. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at the search power here. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> look at this. Okay, well, we're going to use reinforcement first. Uh, onslaught, of course. I'm going to set a call just as um, fodder, because then I, at least if he tries to destroy it, I can chain it and still get something out of it. <clears throat> I keep forgetting to put Pot of Extravagance in here. I need to do that. Take out the shard of greed and put in the extravagance. Shocktopus. That's a weird looking card. One for one. Uh, someone wants to remember spell someone one monster. One level one monster from your deck. Oh, okay. So I guess she's going to do um, either a sinker or a link. <clears throat> there we go. That looks exactly like you, comrade. That's how everybody looks in Peloton, huh? Oh, another Link Summon. Where's this Coral Anemone? Something tells me that Gravekeepers would do well against her deck. She keeps digging into that graveyard. Yep, Gravekeepers would destroy this deck. Oh my god. You're gonna bring everything. Yes. Oh, she's thinking twice now, huh? Backfield. Lots of freaking backfield. Tiger. Hmm. I can only use one call per turn. So whatever monster I bring out, I can just... I can always smash Tiger into it. It'd probably be a good idea to get another princess. Because I can take some damage here. <clears throat> hmm. Sage is looking good too. Because then I could attack with the baby Tiger. Remove. Yeah, let's do Sage. Let's try Sage. We'll bring little tiger. <clears throat> Ooh, call the haunted, huh? Might as well. We'll remove it. I 
I still think we're doing okay. <clears throat> Again, she can dig into her graveyard so much here. Dark Holio. Um, sure. But the Grizzly. See if I can tempt him into into attacking the tiger. Oh, torrential tribute. Oh. Wow, okay. Somebody just set the world on fire. Come on, give me a monster. Nice. Oh, and we're born. Okay, we're in really good shape now. Um let's see, we could do princess. And then get another call and then grab another queen yeah we're gonna do princess <clears throat> i think we can finish her right here there you go put the tiger now we'll search the call We'll bring the paladin. Yeah, she pretty much had torrential tribute there. She was going to get knocked. <clears throat> and then later on, you'll get a second deck. We'll just work with the deck that you have. Because, um, <clears throat> like, I mean, like when you're playing a video game, it's a little different. Because, I mean, you get to play so much. Like, I can sit here and play all day if I wanted to. But if you're, doing a T if you're in the TCG, you know, and you're using the actual cards, just practice with that one deck. Because you don't get to play as much as you normally would. Unless you've got this game and then you can just use the cards you have in real life in this game and practice that way. But that's what we'd, we would do back in the days. We would try to stick with one deck for a while unless the meta changed. Just so we could get better and better with that deck. Let's see. Marbled Rock, Fishborg Launcher, Deep Sweeper. Still no new pack. Let's go get some boosters. Some, some Brewsters. Uh, um, let me see. I needed... Yeah, Alexis. Okay. Swing of Memories. Target one roll monster and convert special summon it, but destroy it during the end phase of this turn. Hmm. That card gives me ideas. That has some real potential. Hmm. Could do stuff with that. More Necros. Hey Thanatos, what's going on, man? Just buying some boosters now, because this check will not give me the frickin' field spell card that I need. And she's the only one that has it. Well, I guess I might be able to just go and face... Um, oh, what's his name? Um, Zane. 
over and over again and see if he'll drop it for me. Legacy as well. Attack on the cornered rat. <laughs> Come on, Alexis. At least one copy. <clears throat> Seeing as how I'm going to need three copies of uh, Roxy's, it might do me well to just save my DP at this point and hopefully just see if I can farm Zane for the um, fusion recycling plant. Because I think, oh, wait, no, I don't think he drops it. Let me look again. Let's see. Yeah, I think it only comes out of her pack. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah, it only comes out of her pack. So I can't farm anybody for it. And Roxy's, I know. Yeah, it just comes out of the Varus pack. <sighs> so I guess we're gonna have to just keep farming, man. Campaign. Mm, effective range we go. Oh, oh no. This guy's gonna hurt. This is Soul Burner. This is going to hurt a lot. I may lose this one. Because his, his deck is actually... He has a, he runs Solomon Greats, if I remember, in this one. And Solomon Greats really like to dig into the graveyard. And so I kind of wish now that I had made the, <laughs> the Gravekeeper deck just for this. Because running Gravekeepers on this guy, oh, it just shuts them down so much. <coughs> Farm DP like I used to on the Switch. It's a little harder, man. All right, what do we got? Um, let's put our Paladin out there first. And then we'll go for the Force, just in case. And our Onslaught. Slot. Whatever. Yep, here we go. Solomon, great stuff. He's going to get busy here. He's going to probably link summon like 85,000 times. So if you have snacks, good. You're going to need them. Because <laughs> he's just going to keep going. Oh, he's going to XYZ. What you got for me? Oh, okay, that's right. They have XYZ. I forgot about that. Solomon, greats. <clears throat> Was this a link spider? Oh, a bell links. Hmm. But yeah, he special summons a lot. And he'll just keep going. Oh my god. And there's the wolfie. Oh crap, is that gonna destroy my card? Let me see. Oh, it's going to return it to my hand. Okay. I kind of want a mirror force to say, yeah, yeah, but I should probably save that. Gotta save it just in case. Oh, Forbidden Lance, huh? Damn, 
I can't use anything anymore. At least I got some warrior returning alive. Oh, no backfield. Thank you. Thank you for no back. Oh, and the sage. Now I have to make a decision. Do I want to... I should probably save warrior returning alive. <clears throat> Yeah, let's let's bring her, and then I'll bring Sage with the onslaught. Or do I want to? Mm, no, let's, because I don't want to lose my my swordswoman. So let's just bring Sage now. <clears throat> We still have mirror force. Okay, good. <clears throat> we handled that just about as well as we could. Now is the website. Oh no, the one guy who's gonna screw me over. Here he is. Oh wait, I think he's gonna get rid of him. He's gonna probably link someone away. But are, if you're talking about the. Um, Are you talking about the domain that I bought yesterday? It's still not there. It take those things apparently take time. <laughs> I, I don't it's weird though, because I've I've purchased a lot of domains. And I've never really had to wait that long. Like I could buy a domain and like an hour later it was there and registered and ready to go. But I because I kept waiting and waiting and I was like, what is going on? So I went to the help center on um for my uh, web server provider that I bought the domain through, and they're just like, yeah, it takes it takes time. I'm like, oh, crap, that sucks. <clears throat> hey, Kaiser. What campaign is this, Vrains? Yes, this is Vrains. Um, what's that card that inflicts damage every time you special summon it? A card that, oh, no. Card that inflicts damage every time you special summon it. There's a, well, I mean, there's a lot of cards that can do stuff like that. I'm just trying to think. Oh, he's gonna send my mirror force away now too. He's got his combo going. Crap. He's gonna yeah. He's gonna send away my mirror force. Yep. <laughs> you jerk. That sucks. A little power. Dang, Paladin's not going to help me right now. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of... Well, actually, I think I do have options. Let me check something. Uh, let's return during your main phase. Okay, I think I've got a solution. I gotta check what I got here. Okay, the honor arc I think is gonna save me here. Or this dude, this dude's pretty strong too. <laughs> the cowboy. The honor arc would probably be best though. Okay, we're gonna have to spend warrior. It's a spell or a trap card. There are a few cards that kind of go into that category. I've heard of Salomon Greats, but never faced them, so I'm unfamiliar with what they... Oh, man. Salomon Greats are a huge pain in the butt. I mean, they're just... <laughs> I mean, I was saying it earlier, like right before you came in. Um, the one deck that can really... Because his Soul Burner... This is his story deck. His story deck is amazing. But the one deck type that can really screw him over are Gravekeepers. Because once you get Necrovalley on the field... 
his whole strategy goes out the window because if you've as you've been watching you'll probably notice he goes into his graveyard a lot Boop. <laughs> now I had to take that. <clears throat> Little Richard just passed away. Really? Oh, man. Well, he was getting up there in age, though, wasn't he? Got an uh, ultimate rare beat in common Danpa and Raphael from Gold Sarkov. Oh, that's great, dude. Hold on. An ultimate rare beat? Is, is there an ultimate rare version of beat? Or do you mean just ultra rare? If it's ultra rare beat, that's still good, man. That's still really good. All right, so we got rid of his funky guy, and I have it stuck on me now. So <laughs> let's try to do some more damage here. He still has the card advantage, though. I've still got willpower, so that can help. <clears throat> but I think he's going to dig into his graveyard a lot. Little Richard, um, he was real big back in the, uh, in the 50s. He was a, a rock and roll singer. He was in, he was insanely influential. And he had actually been performing all the way through the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, uh, up until I think just a few years ago. He Because I know he's like in his 80s, but he was still performing. So he, he'd stuck around for a while. He has some incredibly popular songs. Oh, crap. Of course he brought another one of those. <clears throat> oh, you're going to negate it, huh? Oh, no, he's going to special summon. Okay, crap. That actually kind of sucks. <clears throat> because now he's just going to run his gazelle into my swordswoman. Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's sent back. <laughs> Okay, the reason why I did that is because willpower specifically says destroyed if the card is destroyed. So him sending it back to my deck is not destroyed, which is kind of weird. Uh, let me see. Um... <clears throat> well, crap, I'm going to have to do this. I don't have a choice. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, his his this Solomon Great deck is rough, man. He can do so much with it. So yeah, it's not a it's not a given if you face him, dude. He's rough. It's really rough. In fact, I'm actually thinking let's just go build the Gravekeeper deck or what I can make of it, because I'm gonna need it versus him unless I get a really great starting hand with the. Um, with the Amazons, then he's just gonna start to keep eating my face, dude. Let's see. No, 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 go back, go back. Yes. Uh, grave keepers. I don't have all the grave keepers I want, but I've got enough. I should have enough to um, to do something. Let's see. Uh, filter. I can probably throw this together pretty quickly. All right, let's see what we got. Um, you're going in. You're going in. You're going in. Just one of him. Oh, good, I do have three recruiters. Mm -mm. And three spot. Oh, wow, I think I do have everything. That's awesome. I'm trying to think what the rest of the cards were. Okay, so Combatants. Oh, um, where is he? Spear Soldier. Where are you, Spear Soldier? There you are. Um, oh, no. I don't have any Spiritualists. 
Oh, that sucks. I have no spiritualists. Oh no, that is not good. That really throws this off now. <laughs> that sucks. Remember Tutti Fruity? Yeah, I remember that song, man. It sucks, dude. If I don't have any spiritualists, I'm in big trouble with this deck. I mean, it's it's. I mean, the deck could still probably win, but the spiritualist just does so much for this deck. Oh crap. Well, hell. Um, what else can I do with this? Okay, so Rite of Spirits. Good. Let me see. Do I have another? I do have another throne. Uh, we could do another one of those. I don't think I'll need another temple. We'll do another Rite of Spirit. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one. That's the spiritualist. She's the one that does the, the fusion. Oh, that's how I get, always get the a supernaturalist out. So I'm going to have to sub in some stuff here. Um, and I still need monsters. I could do synchro. Yeah, I could definitely do some synchro. Um, well, hold on, what's the spell do? Let's regret add those targets to your hand. Be effective. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. We'll do a couple of those. I don't generally use that card. Hidden Thrones. Uh, activate only if both are Gravekeeper. Okay. Neither one can special summon monsters except Gravekeeper's monsters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, we definitely need that versus him. <laughs> Visionary, the Vassal. The Watcher. Eh, I'm not crazy about the Heretic. I'll do another Commandant. Um, a Guard would annoy him. Okay, and now I guess we can just kind of uh, throw some other stuff in here. Um, let me see. What's that? I don't think I have many tuners. <clears throat> you pulled a Secret Rare Heat Leo? That's a pretty good pool. I think that's worth some money. I'm going to look now. Let's see. TCG player. And you pulled it from the gold sarcophagus, you say. Heat Leo. Oh, it's not worth as much as I thought it was. It's worth like, uh, like 60 cents. <laughs> but I mean, considering, all things considered, that's actually not terrible. I mean, that's still a good card, though. The the Solomon Great Heat Leo, that's definitely... If you were to play Solomon Greats, that's definitely one of the cards you would want. Let's see, which... Uh, your own genre tuners. Let me see. Do I have a dark tuner? Clock resonator. I don't have a dark resonator, do I? No. Darn. Dark tinkerer. Effect veiler. Priestess. Scrap chimera. <laughs> level two. That'd be a level two tuner. Let's see. I've got lots of level fours. So the tuner, hello, Saren. Good to see you. We're, we're building a, a Gravekeeper's deck in, in quick, you know, quick succession here because I just got absolutely destroyed by Solomon Greats. And so we need to go back and face it with a Gravekeeper deck. I guess I can do, this is a, oh, this is a three one. Well, if I do threes, that means I'll have a lot of uh, level seven sinkers available to me. Level six and level sevens. And it's only one tuner, so we'll do that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm only gonna do one tuner. Let's um so where are we going here? Frame. We're gonna do level. Oops, go back. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I don't have very many. <laughs> Again, I don't have very many. Uh, Scrap Heart Fiend's okay. We'll use him. Uh, we'll also do some XYZ. Let's see, some level sixes. Glayo Guardian is not good in this deck. Clearing Sinker is okay. Level sevens, Blood Angels. Yeah, I don't have many options. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, well, I guess we're gonna have to go X Y Z, and I still have to finish filling up the deck. Okay, so X Y Z four star. <clears throat> Mind and Zen means definitely throw the honor arc in there. Gem Knight's gonna beat down. Abyss Dweller, that's okay. That one's not bad. The Castell. Let's see, Giga Brilliant. No, I don't want to. I don't want to X Y Z with uh, rank three. One two. I guess we'll do more of these. And I can also throw in Pot of Extravagance, because some of these can just be throwaways. Let me see how many do I have? Fourteen. Here, we'll put the black ship of corn. <laughs> Does that even do anything good? Let me see. Touch one XYZ. Uh, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card. Send it to the graveyard, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage. Okay, yeah. We'll do the corn. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought initially when I first... Because I had this game on the Switch, and I had almost all the cards. I was only missing like 25 cards. And then I repurchased it on PC. So now I'm having to refarm all the cards. And the first pack I went into was uh, Grandpa Moto's. And because I thought, oh, well, let me at least throw together the Gravekeeper's deck. And he was just being stingy with his cards. So I started buying the My Packs. And My started giving me all the Amazon cards. And I'd played Amazons before too. So I was like, well, screw it. Let's just do Amazons. So I built the Amazon deck. And uh, I'd been slowly cobbling together other pieces for the gravekeeper deck but apparently i just did not even think that i was missing the spiritualist which is yeah this, i mean she again like i said it, the deck can work without her but it's like a shell of its potential all right let's see we were looking at type icon number of cards no Forbidden name. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do pot of extra. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. do I want to do that? I think I do. If I just if I control no face up cards, ugh. Chances are I'm gonna have at least one. And we'll throw one in there just in case. But we're definitely gonna go get pot of extravagance here. Oh, mystical space typhoon. I'll throw one of those in there. I'm going to be real monster light at this point, huh? Do a couple of pot of extravagance. What other monsters can I throw in there, though? That would really screw him over. <laughs> I should throw in a lava golem. <laughs> Freaking lava golem. Yes, the spiritualist is, is amazing. Um, and my on the Switch version that I I still have my Switch I just don't play it, but yeah I have three of her in the deck so she's definitely one of those cards that you want. Uh, oh yeah, Regeki. And also do Dark Hole. Dark Hole would probably work because he gets so much stuff on the field so quickly. I'm still monster light. I don't know what other monster to throw in there. 
because this right here is where I would have three spiritualists. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to worry about being light on monsters. There's good old Beat. I only have one copy of him so far. Oh, man. I don't know what to put in. Any suggestions? I'm just going to throw something in at this point. Tell him to give you the cards. <laughs> I actually ended up farming Odeon for a lot of the cards. Like, again, Grandpa wouldn't give me Necro Valley. Well, no, actually, yeah, in my Switch version, he wouldn't give me Necro Valley. So I had to farm Odeon for it. And Odeon was nice enough to give me Necro Valley really quick. Chubong. Overjar, <laughs> Cyber Soldier. Yeah, I really don't know what else to put in. I guess I could put in another tuner, but I've only got two synchros. Cyber Pharos. And now, just kidding. Are you? Oh, hold on. Let me ask you this, Thanatos. Are you are you playing the old version of Legacy of the Duelist? Are you playing, or are you playing the new one that was released at the end of March? Because the new one that was released at the end of March, that one comes with all the DLC. It's like forty bucks, but it comes with all of the DLCs. So if you have the old, uh, oh, you are playing Link Evolution. Okay, good. Because the newer version should come with all of it. You shouldn't have to buy any. Um, shouldn't have to buy any of that. It should all come with it. I kind of just wanted to throw Diddy Assailant in there. Diddy Assailant would really screw them. Let's screw it. Diddy Assailant. This is such a, a janky Gravekeeper deck. Uh, let's try it, though. <laughs> this is so bad. Just enter the Duel and Surrender. Yeah, that's all I generally do. Um, like, I'll go, like, I'll just go to the duels challenges, and I'll just go to Odeon, and I'll just face him and purposely lose. In fact, I'll do it once. Watch him give me one spiritualist. I'll be like, yes! We have a spiritualist. We have one. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's going first, though. Ugh. That's actually not a terrible hand. Imagine if the um, imagine if the assailant was a spiritualist instead. Yeah, I'm just gonna once his turn is over, I'm just gonna surrender. Go on, give me something, dude. Don't give me a card I already have. Yeah, that's what I. Oh, bottomless trapple. Well, I mean, bottomless is a good card, just not what I need right now. Oops. Yeah. Well, let's just let's just give Solomon Great a try. Because just having Necro Valley on the field really screws him up. So let's just see if we can get Necro Valley. We've got three Commandants and three Thrones. So I should be able to search Necro Valley pretty quickly. Man, Bondman looks like... What's up with that outfit, dude? How do you... Does he, like, paint that on? Or I don't understand how that stays there. Oh, we already got a Commandant. We're in good shape. We're in very good shape. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna throw the, the Commandant and we're gonna grab a Necker Valley. So yeah, he's already like, oh crap. <laughs> we'll put that out there. I'm gonna put the Spy and we'll end. Hopefully he can't get rid of my Necker Valley too easily. Let's see what do we want to bring. Uh, let's bring a recruiter. See how different he plays now that Necro Valley's on there. He can't do anything now with that. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, let's see. Neither player can special summon monsters except Gravekeeper's monsters. That's beautiful too. Let's see. How do I want to play this? Um, let's. Be a little cautious, and I'm going to summon 
my chief by tributing our recruiter. I'm going to leave my spy in defense just in case because I don't know what he has in his backfield. We're going to get two effects here. Um, do I want to bring the recruiter back again? Let's bring Commandant. So we'll put him there. And then we'll use the recruiter search to grab... Wow. Um, it's a spear soldier. Ah, forbidden lance. Damn it. Still doing okay. <clears throat> Yeah, he's still not going to be able to do that much. That's all he's got. Oh, nice. Let's set that right of spirit. We'll bring the spear soldier out. <clears throat> Let me read what this thing does real quick. Um, Quit monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. And if it attacks it, if it's a monster, it's like bound. Okay. Quit monster is... Gotcha. Okay. So I can basically just smash the crap out of this thing. It's not gonna die, but I can smash it. So yeah, I've basically got him locked down at this point. He's in real trouble. Yeah, with Necker Valley and then my continuous spell, he's in real trouble. He's going to have to get rid of one of them. That's a good thing I brought the Spear Soldier. Pot of Extravagance. Okay, since we can't really dig into the extra deck, we're definitely going pot. Thank you. Hold on, let me see. What is this? Uh, or card effects. Damn, it's not going to be destroyed by Regeki. Um, so he's just looking to stall at this point with that card. Oops, I don't want to activate that. I'm going to back that out of there. Okay, well, that's really all I can do right now. He may just try to pump up the defense of that card and try to stall me out. Oh, another gazelle. He's going to set that again. Kinda need my um, my oracle now. Let me see. Hold on. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. All I can do is just keep popping him with the spear soldier. That's why I like having a spear soldier. He's got that little tech to him. And I mean, it's only four hundred a pop, but I mean, he's still getting through. It would probably be better for me to actually use the spear soldier on the face down because it may be a lower defense well let's see it may not be <laughs> well i guess we'll find out if it's the gazelle it is okay yeah so i guess we could start hitting the face down <clears throat> i think i only put one mst in here right that's gonna suck if i was only one or maybe i didn't put any Oh crap, maybe I didn't. If I didn't put any, this is gonna be a long match, man. <laughs> I'll win, but it's gonna be a long match. Another commandant. Oh, hmm. 
I kind of screwed myself over too with this because I could have got XYZ. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep doing this. Let me hit the face down. Oh yeah, much better. Good. Keep setting monsters. <laughs> yeah, he can't do anything, man. Completely. Oh, I think we got him now. Hold on. Let me let me read this card one more time. Cannot be destroyed. Oh yeah, we've got him now. Because I'm gonna send that sucker back to his hand next turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, guard. You're so good to me. Yeah, even even without the spiritual list, just <laughs> gravekeepers just completely locked him down. He was so screwed. Uh, we got sunlight wolf. Sign it. Oh, sign it mining. That's a decent card. And Mara Gestalio. So now the question is, do I want to keep going with it? <laughs> Hold on, I got an idea. And what the heck? Well, let's let's go and buy some more Grandpa cards. <laughs> and see if he'll... Because he's there's still a few there he hasn't given me. Let me see if he gives me a few Spiritualists. Another Spear Soldier. Uh, they're only 200 each, so these are pretty cheap. So I don't mind spending a little on these. Extodia! More Extodia. Graceful Charity. Do you all think we'll ever see Graceful Charity off the ban list again? Skill Drain. I sincerely don't think that there's a reason to bring it back. Another Chief. Another Headman. But yeah, he's not, he's not giving me any Spiritualists. Another oracle. Grandpa's like, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep spiritualist to myself. Megamorph. Jujutsu Master. Birthright. I don't think I had that birthright. Oh, there we go. There's a spiritualist. And it's a common card, too. It's not even a rare. <laughs> Jeez. It took you long enough to give me that freaking common card. I feel like that's how it is every single time. There's always that one common card. It's not in the rare slot, but it's a common, and it just won't give it to you. And they're like, nah. Exodia Necros. Let's see if I can get one more Spiritualist. Come on, just one more, dude. Yes! <laughs> we got a second one. <laughs> okay, good. Now we can go back. We can edit this sucker, and let's take out the DD Assailant. And let me see what else was going to... Oh, I actually usually only run two of these. Yeah, I do have one MST. Regeki. That's a lot of Rite of Spirits. Um, extravagance can stay. Um, the Silly Resonator can stay. So let's... Hmm... Because I need room for two. So I'll get rid of one Rite of Spirit. Oops, went too far. Nice. Now we just need one more to get later on. And we're good. <clears throat> You think your second deck might be Gravekeepers or Cubics? 
Gravekeepers right now, I, I can't, well, I guess I could speak a little bit for the TCG because so many of these, of these newer archetypes, they just love to dig in the graveyard, especially the Solomon greats. That's why I was bringing that up. A lot of them really like to dig in the graveyard. So once you get Necker Valley on the field, as long as you can keep it out there, you're, you're, you're taking away half of, you know, half of the uh, options for your opponent. So that's good. And then I put that other card down there, the one that he couldn't special summon. So he was just like, well, I guess I'm I guess I'll die. <laughs> it's how randomization works. If you want something, you don't get it if you're not looking for it. Exactly. That's how it always works. When I was when I got started on the Switch, ask Comrade. The one card that Mai wouldn't give me on Switch was frickin' Onslaught. And of course, the grave, the, not the gravekeepers, but the Amazon deck, it can work, but with Onslaught, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, she would not give me Onslaught for the longest time. I think it was probably the second to last card that she finally gave me. Hmm. Okay, so this actually worked out really well because we're going to grab a Commandant. Where are you, Commandant? I'm gonna dump him. Look at that. Oh, nice. We've got our so now Necker Valley is gonna really stay out there, hopefully. Because we've got our um, our counter trap right here. And that Imperial Tombs of Necker Valley is really handy. It does have a lot of requirements, but it's really good. Oh, look at this dude. Oh no, freaking noble knights. This is going to get interesting. He sold. Yeah, I got the three onslaughts really fast on uh, on PC, which was good. I need because I needed a deck that just was just you know something I could like a go-to deck so that you could uh, oh I don't want to activate that um, I kind of want to bring her but see he's got a second monster out there let me search her actually I'm gonna put him in attack so that he takes a shot at it there we go and now I'll search her because if I want I could there's a couple things I can do here if I shouldn't <laughs> I think he's gonna bring the yeah he's gonna do more okay Neither player can special summon. Again, that card is going to be... Uh, so the question remains now, do I want to bring Spiritualist and bring my big guy and possibly get a search? Or I could bring my clear wing. I've got a clear wing in here. And a scrap arc fiend. Hmm, I'm tempted. Let's let's stick with gravekeepers though. Let's let's just do that. <clears throat> but yeah, this dude is amazing. really lock them down there.
here. What do I want to grab? So many freaking options here. <laughs> Let's grab a spear soldier actually. Just in case. Because he's I know he's gonna have to go defense. He's gonna try to do something and then I'm gonna negate it. Oh. Okay. No, he is just going straight defense. Okay. Then the Oracle. Yeah, I'll just do this. Yeah, I think he's I think he's pretty screwed here now. Yeah, he's in real trouble. And now I can search the uh second spiritualist. I doubt I'll need her now, but it's good to have her because Supernaturalist with Oracle to bring out another copy of that dude, he's he puts him at 3900. It's freaking amazing. Ambusher. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't even... Well, well, we'll bring the Ambusher out. What the heck? Yeah, this is over. Man. When you've got the Spiritualist and you can bring out the Supernaturalist, the Gravekeepers are hard to deal with. That two-card combo, it's a... It's a one of the simplest combo. Oh, new booster pack, Varus. Thank you, God. I can go finally try to get the Roxies. <laughs> Let's go get the Roxies. Card shop. Varus. It stinks because I need three copies of this card. And I think I think it's a rare. So I'm going to have to buy a ton of packs here. Ooh, that's a good card. Jasmine's very good card. Booster Dragon, Cupid Dunk. <laughs> Cupid Dunk, that's an interesting card. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster unless that monster has a higher level. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can increase this card's level by one. That's actually kind of neat. It's actually not a terrible effect. Two Booster Dragons, come on, man. Get enough for one more pack here. Yeah. Bye bye damage, speed burst dragon, exploder rocket dragon, cupid serve. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> so I guess I didn't even realize that there was an archetype. I guess cupid archetype is that this is unaffected by the activated effects of monsters except monsters whose level is equal or lower than this card. You can banish up to three cards from your graveyard to increase this card's level by that number until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Cupid Serve once per turn. Synchro Transcend. Hmm. I think we got one more in us. Actually, well, yeah, we got one more. <laughs> I'm just trying to unlock all the brains, people, at this point. Well, let me see. Do Are there any other packs that I might want to try to get into. I'm trying to remember, I know I still want to get into the fur hires. I've already unlocked that though. Um, and I've already finished that series. Well, mostly. I just haven't done the reverse duels. I need to go back and do the reverse duels. I mean, I can do them right now. <laughs> Here, we'll we'll do a reverse duel with the story story deck. There we go. So, story deck Weevil versus story deck Yugi. These are always hilarious. And Weevil's deck is not 100% terrible. It actually does have a couple of good things, but it's just hard to pull off. Should I run my Prismatic Dark Ruler no more? Dark... Which Dark Ruler? Is it actually just called Dark Ruler? Oh my goodness. Oh man, Ultra Cocoon. This is not a great start. We're going to hold on to that. Because I know he's got some equip cards. So I'm going to have to use the cocoon here. Oh, are you serious? Are you already bringing out Gazelle? Oh, he's bringing out uh, Dragon Champion. That stinks. 
Now I really need an equip card. Oh, and Wasteland. And your Mammoth Graveyard. Oh, look at you. Aren't you awesome? Uh, I'm going to take 26 to the face. Terraforming. Might as well use it. I don't know what... What does he have here? Forest? Yeah. Dang. And that freaking Hercules Beetle is so useless. Such a terrible card. It makes no sense to even have it in here. And I don't want to put the Kamakiri Man out there, but I have to. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to lose this one. I'm going to lose. He got his dragon champion really early. Oh, and giant soldier of stone. Look at this guy. Damn. Yeah, I have I have to draw into a monster now. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I lost. I lost. We're just going to end this one. Dark Magician, thanks, Yug. <laughs> We're going to do it again. I'm going to try one more time. Hopefully I get a better hand here. All right. Please don't saddle me with a bunch of tribute monsters. Oh, one tribute monster. I bet that's a giant soldier of stone. I kind of want to do big insect, but I'm pretty sure that's giant soldier of stone. And I kind of want to save the, save the bug, because I think I'm going to need that. Oh, it's not. It's the beaver. It's the crazy beaver. That is a big purple beaver you got there, man. Oh, here comes Curse. Oh, and Horn of the Unicorn. Oh my gosh. Resonance Insect. Uh, that's not a great card. I'm kind of have to do the bug now. He's going to hit me with the imp. Oh, he's not. Okay. That's actually not too good because... It's going to put the horn back on the top of his deck, which is usually good, but he's going to draw it now and equip it to the imp if I can't get rid of it. Graceful Charity, thank you. All right, what do we got here? Um, you're going away. Um, ooh, let's see. That's uh, 1150, 1200. I don't want to just dump the resonance insect. Yeah, let's get rid of that thing. Okay, now just hopefully I can draw an equip card. Because if I get the equip card, I can get out the perfectly ultimate. Oh, are you serious? Uh, I kind of like doing these duels though. But they're just they were just so much simpler back in the day. Killer needle. And the turns went much faster like this. <laughs> Ooh, that's a 
it's a mirror force. Howling insect. We're actually going to set that because then we can search and do some thinning. Give me an equip card. At this point, I just want to get it out. Oh, another graceful charity. Okay. I'll, I can live with that. Hmm. Oh, there is laser cannon armor. Okay. You go away. And... You go away. I'm going to leave that out there just in case. Oh, I should have brought the perfectly ultimate. I didn't even see it over there. I thought it was just this guy. No, oh, that's still better than nothing. Let's put back our man eater bug. I wouldn't mind drawing him. Another cocoon, huh? Now things are getting a little exciting. Yep, knew there was a mirror force though. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I didn't bring out the perfectly ultimate then. <laughs> I don't think I have a monster born in this deck though. <laughs> I'm slowly nibbling him. If that's another mirror force, that better not be another mirror force. Ooh, burning land. Perfectly ultimate, dang it. Burning land is going to start to hurt. Damn it. And I need to hold that now. So I might as well just throw something down there. Yeah, that burning land's gonna hurt me or kill me faster than it kills him. So we gotta do something. A Gokabor. Nobody wants a Gokabor. I was hoping he'd have a few other equips in here. This is kind of weird that he doesn't have more equips. I've only drawn one. Oh, here comes Dark Magician. This is not good. Because now he's going to start hitting my my cocoons. And he's going to get unicorn. Lava coup. Mm, not a terrible card. But still not what we need. I blame Peloton for this. Saw that coming. Yeah, now I really need an equip card because the the perfectly ultimate's really the only way I can win now. But again, I'm thinking, oh, the manager bug. That helps. But that I'm pretty sure that's another mirror force. We'll just see. He should bring out another monster here. Ooh, another horn of the unicorn. Um, yeah, we'll let him eat it. It's just, yeah, it's just a defender. Come on, come on, equip card. That's a pot of greed, though. 
What does that even do? I've never seen that card. What is this? What is the shenanigans? Draw two cards? How do you even do that? Nether cocoon and a laser armor. Okay. Uh, so we'll do this. We're going to bug and we're going to hit his magician. And now he's going to have two unicorns on top of his deck, which is hopefully going to work out for us in this instance. Okay, so now we're going to equip our bug with the armor. And now we're going to play this. Oh, I do have another perfectly ultimate in there. There we go, we'll bring the big one. There you go, that's a big bug. They're, they're killer hornets, man. Stop using the story deck. Heck no, man, I love story deck. <laughs> they're, they're so fun sometimes. <laughs> Put the man eater bug back in my deck again. And I drew a friggin' petite one. Okay, um, we're gonna have to attack hard here. So I'm gonna leave that down, but we're gonna bring our needle. Because again, I'm pretty sure that's a mirror force, but I, I gotta do something. Oh my gosh, it's not. We have a chance. And the great thing is, uh, when I end my turn, he's going to get hit with Burning Land. Oh my gosh, we could win this. We could win this with the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. The most ridiculous card in the game. And he just drew a Horn of the Unicorn. <laughs> That's not good, though. Uh, oh wait, I got a Wabaku. Oh my gosh, he's going to lose. Yes. And just for funsies, we're going <laughs> to bring out another one. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to get your kids together, Dre. We still need Roxies. I just opened up the pack for Roxies. But look, we're gonna get another another moth out here. I think all I have is the Great Moth now. Yeah, we'll bring the Great Moth, because I have the perfectly ultimate in my hand. Yes, yes, you cannot deal with this. It's Mothra and son of Mothra. <laughs> and look, I've gone through almost my entire deck too. Oh, I drew the cocoon. <laughs> All right, perfectly ultimate, get him. He had no Karibo. We have defeated him <laughs> with the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. That's why I like doing these. It's silly sometimes. Who'd have thought I would have been able to bring that stupid moth out? It's impossible. The guy only has like two equip cards in his entire deck. Who plays that ultra ultimate cocoon of evolution and only has two equip cards? Who does that? Apparently Weevil does. <laughs> Summon Skull, Griffor, Sangin. Oh, Sangin's a good card. <laughs> so silly. I'm going to buy some packs. Okay, let's see if we can get our Roxies off. Like I said, I think Roxies is a um, is a rare, so it's it's gonna be a little while. I'm hoping just to get one. Are you serious? That's almost a duplicate pack. <laughs> yeah, the duplication already is ugly. Shooting Riser Dragon. Link party, Boral X charge. Dra oh, wow. What does this guy do? Oh, two level four dark dragon monsters. Either player can target this uh, summon card with monster effects except its own. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one face of monster in the field that loses 600 attack and defense. Then you can special summon one Boral monster from your graveyard, but banish it during the end phase. 
Also, you cannot special summon other monsters or attack directly for the rest of this turn. Hmm. The reason why I was like, ooh, is because it's a 3,000 attacker and it only requires two monsters. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, you could run it in a Dark Dragon deck, but no. It's not one, it's it's not like um, that other dragon that I like to use. That other rank 4 XYZ. I forget its name. Ugh. Really? Really? Come on, Grandpa, give me another spiritualist. Nope, no spiritualist. Anti spell fragrance. I'm gonna go do the reverse duel again. <laughs> let's see, which reverse one should I do though? Uh let's see, panic, face off, duel of tears. Duel of tears is so boring. Dual identity, Keith's machinations. Best friends, best of duelists. Um, oh, he plays tunes. I'll probably lose if I play tunes. Because his tune deck is not very good. Mystery duelist, battle city. Uh, playing with a parasite. <laughs> Another weevil. <laughs> You're like, no, we don't want any more weevil. No more weevil. Mime control. I want to see if I can actually get Slifer out. I, I don't think I'll be able to, but we can try. <laughs> All right, we'll go first. Because he does slimes, and he does Nightmare Still Cage, he does Slifer. Okay, yeah, there's Nightmare Still Cage. Oh, there's Slifer already. Okay, that's good. Um, Not that it matters, but I guess we'll put Jam Defender down there. Kind of want to hold, yeah, the poly, yeah, he actually does have, what is that, that worm drake thing? Yeah, he might have, he might have worm drake. Okay, so we'll put our slime down there. And I'm not going to use nightmare quite yet. I'm going to see if I can actually get more cards in my hand first. So that when we bring Slifer, it's at least at like 3,000. Brain control, oh, you suck. He's going to attribute it away. Ugh, frickin' Summit Skull. No! Well, <laughs> there goes that idea. Uh, and, oh, look, there's the Worm Drake. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> See, I could have said that, and then the... the... <laughs> well, now we have to do this. I might as well activate this, it doesn't matter. All right, here's hoping we get another slime. Oh, a revival jam. Hmm. I could definitely use a graceful charity right now. Hand destruction. Ooh. Crap. And that's two, huh? Each player sends two cards and then draws two cards. Oh, no. I'm keeping Slifer. <laughs> Your life is a reverse duel. Yes, it is. Oh, it gave me a pot of greed and a one day apiece. Very nice. Oh, of course there's a slime. Uh, Magia shell and the opponent cannot select its cards and attack them while they control any spell. Gotcha. Okay. That's actually good. Hmm. Well, the thing is, is he's going to lose his swords here next turn. So... Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna save my one day of peace. I'm gonna wait till next turn, see what he does. I'm gonna bring this guy out. <clears throat> I 
Oh, I forgot. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> At no point in Thorn to Rebellion Night, you idiot. <laughs> Infinite cards. <laughs> there you go. We'll put some in the cards. I hate the Thorn on the field. You can't do yet. You can't attack yet. I know. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> and I have to discard again. Yeah, we're getting rid of that, and should I just get rid of Slifer? It's not going to work. <laughs> Dark door. Oh, look, the Worm Drake. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can I actually draw a Polly? Can I draw another Polly? Oh, my God, another Worm Drake. Uh... Okay, Dark door is actually going to be handy here. Okay, good. So Dark door is going to save me here for a bit. <laughs> I kept it out there. It's funny. Haha, uh, -ha, Yugi. Call the haunted. Oh, you're going to dust my face down, you jerk. Well, at least he didn't dust the dark door. That's the one I actually need him to, to let me keep out there. Mm. Um, all websites are considered dot coms, although not in the strictest of senses. But what he's referring to here, as far as dot com, has pretty much anything to do with websites. Card a safe return. I don't really want to use that. Um, God, I don't want to put those out there either. I'm so hoping for Polly. I mean, Polly's not going to really help anyway, but <laughs> I just want to get it out. Oh, another Slifer. Yeah, because that thing's only 22. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, he's going to destroy it anyway, I think. Well, hold on. We'll do that. I need a Swords of Revealing Light. I'm surprised this guy does not have Swords of Revealing Light in here. Another Summon Skull. Oh, a Dark Magician Girl. Oh, no. What? Got what for $80? I didn't pay $80 for a domain. Are you sick? That's dumb. I didn't pay no $80 for a domain. No, the domain I, the, the domain I got, I got it for two years. Uh, well, the one I got yesterday, I got it for two years and it was like 15 bucks for both, for, for everything. Oh, freaking jam. Yeah. Yeah, the domain domains are generally not that expensive. You can usually get them for like 10, 12 bucks, depending on where you buy it from. I got mine uh, because there was a little special deal that um, uh, my uh, service was having. So I got it for like seven fifty a year. And uh, I got it for two years because I'm like, eh, it may work, it may not work. <sighs> this deck is so stupid. Yeah, fifteen dollars for two years is good. <laughs> Celtic Guard. <laughs> the freaking dark doors. Oh, uh, oh crap! Never mind. I was thought for a second that I could get. Uh, Slifer out, but no. <laughs> Actually, let's let's pull let's do the card of safe return because I'm gonna get a special summon here in a moment.
Oh, of course, there's the poly. I'm getting every card at the wrong time. <laughs> yes, card of safe return, please. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Uh, I kind of want to put the slime out there. Uh, yeah, let's put the slime out there. Try to get him out. That's really the only way I can win at this point, is if I get Slifer out. I had to approve some messages there. That's, that's why I paused for a minute. Oh no, he wants me to destroy two more. Okay, that's actually good. Dark Door and Gem Defender. I may deck out here. Oh, another Polly. He runs three Pollies. And the sucky thing is I know he has a Mirror Horse back there, which really sucks. Yes, draw. <laughs> I got him out. Yay. <laughs> Again, it's going to suck because he's got a freaking mirror force. Let me see. I Let me read this again. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. Where normal summon cards effects cannot be activated. Once returned during the end phase, if this card was special summoned, uh, special summon. Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, so yeah, Mirror Force works against this guy. I'm gonna mirror. I'm gonna smash into Mirror Force, but I still. Oh, Karibo. Okay, <laughs> I guess. I'm pretty sure he's got Mirror Force back there, though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he's gonna put everything in defense now. Go on, switch it all, buddy. Oh, there's Mirror Force. Oh, and swords. Get out of here with your swords. I'm just going to keep pumping this thing up. <laughs> yeah, those sites are illegal, dude. You can't do that. Oh, he's going to deck me out. This sucks. Oh, freaking Morphine Jar, are you serious? Oh, Mystic Box? Oh, no. No! No, no, you, you're kidding me. Really? Look at this. He just pulled the Yugi move on me. Look. Oh. Oh, why did he do that? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that check guess. He just pulled a Yugi on me. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> He's like, I'm Yugi, I win, but he gave me a morphine jar. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Card shop. <laughs> I can only buy one pack. Give me a pack. Topological. The Weather Rainbow Canvas. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> Give me another spiritualist. No. Another skill drain. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's because he's Yugi. He pulled out. He's hard of the cards, man. <laughs> he can never count him out. He's like, hard of the cards, sucker. <laughs> Who do you think you're messing with? If you've not had the chance, guys, head over to uh, the website, slimwords.com. We have our giveaway going, and I changed the um, I changed the widget that I was using because the old widget just wasn't. I didn't like the way it worked. It was asking for too much of y'all's personal information, so I got rid of that widget and I went back to Gleam. Gleam is much better known. Um, so yeah, again, it's uh, Silent Magician Level Eight Ultra Rare. Uh, head over to somewhere.com. You'll see it's it should be like the first post there, and then you click you just click that. It'll take you to the little story thing. Uh, and then when you scroll down, you'll see the Gleam link where you can sign up. And there's a lot of easy ways to sign up. Uh, all you do is just like if you, you know, I think one of them is like if you just visit uh, the YouTube channel, you get like five entries, stuff like that. It's real easy. So, yeah, check that out, guys. I'm going to go get some breakfast because I, like I said, I've been up since like five, but I have not eaten. So I'm going to go get some food. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. 
Um, join us in Discord. I'll be on Discord all day if y'all have questions or are bored. <laughs> Discord link is down in the description. And until next time, guys, be safe. Don't do anything crazy. Make sure you wear your masks and uh, don't cough in anybody's face because that's mean. <laughs>